wrestling fans, Brian Blitz here, right along with Craig Young, and welcome to another exciting edition of Superstars of the Ring here at ccwrestling.biz. On this week's show, we're going to see that big rubber match for the alternative championship between Skylark and Christian Evans, and also we're going to talk quite a bit about the new CCW champion, Craig, and that is the outlaw, Jamie McKinnon. As we saw last week, Jamie McKinnon winning the CCW championship over Julian Marks. Show a little enthusiasm, my friend. It's the new CCW champion. He defeated... Julian Marks right in the middle of the ring after winning that 20 man over or 20 person over the top battle royal. Excitement. I've been here for 10 years. Jamie McKinnon winning All the champ? No. Jamie McKinnon winning the championship, in my opinion, it's great. Something different than Julian Marks and his reign. But maybe you haven't been paying attention. Jamie <laughs> McKinnon Trust is me, nuts. Have. Yes, he is. He is absolutely nuts. But think about this. He's kind of the lesser of two evils. You have somebody that, for the last couple of years, has done nothing but sneak attack virtually every member of this roster, including announcers, including referees, I mean, including legends. And then you have Outlaw Jamie McKinnon, who I've said it before, as nuts as he is, he's going to look you right in the eye before he goes after you. You're right. And he's already stated the one guy he wants to look in the eye, Chris Turner. Already off the wins a championship. He did not have that belt in his hand more than maybe five minutes before he made his agenda clear he's going to rid CCW of rock and roll Chris Turner once and for all. Well, there's no question about it. The outlaw Jamie McKinnon is definitely all business. So let's go ahead and hear from the new CCW champion. 26 years, I told you in this business that I was better than I ever was before. I told you last week. That I am going to be the man. I walked out there in the battle room and throwed everybody out. You seen me, didn't you? I threw them all out. Well, I didn't throw everybody else because I had a plan. I backed up in that corner and I sit there and I let all them guys jump on one another and beat on one another and do all they wanted to do. But then in the end, I got rid of Hayden, Cash and Pond. Now, then I walked out there against the evil one, Julian Marks. Wasn't it Julian? Ain't that his name? I don't even care what his name is no more because I am your new CCW heavyweight champion. This is an exclusive in the locker room. I'll give it to you in the morning, at night, in the evening, midday, midnight, anytime you want it. Sign a contract. I want Turner next. I'm taking Turner out of this business once and for all. Now get out of here. Welcome back wrestling fans to CCW Superstars of the Ring. Now, as we just heard from uh, our champion, Jamie McKinnon, he seems pretty clear in what he wants, and that's another opportunity to remove Chris Turner from this company. Seems is hardly the way to put it. It was cut and dry. Jamie McKinnon made it perfectly clear that he is going to go after rock and roll Chris Turner. And it's it's seldom that the champion goes after a challenger, but I think, you know, given the history that these two gentlemen have for, and, and animosity they have for one another, it's only a natural fit. Well, 23 years of history, and we've heard, on, we've seen it on Facebook, McKinnon has his own gripe against Turner. Now, mind you, I've been here for at least 10 years, so obviously there's even off more history on. off and on. There's even more history behind that. However, I've watched McKinnon and Chris Turner just try to take each other out. Constantly broken ankles, broken necks. Jamie's been with his own injuries from other competitors. Chris with his own injuries from other competitors. There's no two guys in this company that know each other better than these two. And as somebody that's been in the ring and refereed their matches, this is going to be an all-out brawl. Well, as far as that position goes, I certainly don't envy you. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some words from Rock and Roll Chris Turner in the real near future. Let's go ahead and move on right now. As I talked about at the top of the show, we're going to see that big rubber match between uh, Skylark and Christian Evans where they go in a belt on a pole match. Controversy no end to this match. Controversial ending by, you know, notwithstanding. They go, it is a belt on a pole match. And um, it is the rubber match in what was the best of three series for the alternative championship. But you know, to be honest with you, we were there. We were there. And you'll hear us call us. And we're going to show you this match in a minute. But you'll hear us call us. Neither of us knew who the champion was by the end of this match. I'm not so sure this one's over. I don't. I don't even. I don't think we've we've had an official decision as to who it is. But we're going to ask you to watch this match and then jump onto our Facebook page or email us at uh, Superstars of the Ring and through uh, ccwrestling.biz. Let us know who you think is the champion and who should rightfully be the alternative champion. Now, really the best part about this is we're probably going to get to see these guys in action a few more times. No doubt about it. This match was amazing, but maybe there needs to be some type of clarification as to who the champion is and why. 
Well, we're definitely going to see some more alternative action with these two in the future. You're right about that. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and go to the action. Gentlemen, are you ready for our first championship match? <laughs> Little backstory on this match. It is fall number three. Best of three series between two very competitive individuals. Individual number one won a month ago. Individual number two won two weeks ago to even the series. So tonight, the alternative championship will be deciding a first ever championship on a pole match. And what would a match like that be without two of the best high flyers in this great business? Ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for one fall. Sorry. And our first competitor. He is the challenger, Haley from Chula Vista, California. Put your hands together for the high flying Skylar. and his opponent. Brian Blitz, they say the stakes can't be any higher in Continental Championship Wrestling. That pole is 16 feet above the ground. Fascinating choice of words, Craig, absolutely. You got, a, you got two very, very competitive high flyers in this match. Former champion Skylark and current alternative champion Christian Evans. Either one of them could get to that belt. It's just a matter of who is going to do it first. They're both so fast. I, you know, I'm worried about seeing both of these guys in the top rope, but as fast as these two guys are, you have to imagine they're going to try to work the ground game for a little while, try to keep them away from those top rope maneuvers, because at any time, I, I believe one of these guys can literally jump across the ring and grab that belt. Well, you know, Craig, I, I disagree. Two noted high flyers, two guys that just stay in the air on a constant basis. The first thing they're going to want to try and do is retrieve that belt, and the first one that does it becomes a champion. Why wouldn't you? Why would you want to stay on the ground? The belt's up in the sky. Beautiful running drop kick by Skylark, and he's taking quick early control over CCW alternative champion Christian well, Evans. Skylark with that plancha off the top rope into an arm drag. Yeah, Skylark is Skylark's incredibly fast. And Trademark guys, move by Skylark. Yes, they are. Both these guys do moves that you will not see any other competitor do. And for the last year, back and forth matches, and they are so evenly matched that they know every move the other is going to make. Counter for counter, match for match. That's what makes for a fantastic match. i got to tell you, I... I have a hard time getting up out of bed in the morning, and these two guys are flying in the air with the greatest. Season. Beautiful example right there. Skylark lifted high into the air, and now Christian Evans is taking control of this match. Well, I'm glad I never have to take a backdrop like that again. Oh, great spinning heel kick by Evans. Evans mm -hmm. almost looked like he was going to pin him. Skylark may have that mask, but it's not going to offer him a whole lot of protection against a nasty shot like that. No, it also cuts off your, it also cuts off your air. Looks like he's setting up for a suplex here. Beautiful suplex by alternative champion Christian Evans. Now, here's third strategy comes in. He's down. Do you go for the belt? Or do you Why not? Of course. Just a bit more? He is. He's going for it. 
Yep. A lot of this is going to be crash and burn. These guys are... Skylark now from behind. Oh, within fingertips of that, of that title belt. Skylark's Skylark is off that top rope. just proven he is still in this match, and he wants that belt just as much as Evans does. What are they about to do? Oh, they're both climbing. Craig, this doesn't look good. He's going to try to suplex him from the top. You know, more than anything, they're worried about are, going to the outside of that ring. These two men are definitely putting their bodies on the line. Boy, if Evans, if Evans reverses this, he's got to do oh. stand up. He did what he had to do. If he were smart, he'd reach up for the belt now, and that's... Turn around and get the belt. Wow. Nice fly body cross though. body, but he needs to remember, you cannot win this match by pinfall. For the big CCW chant coming from the crowd. That's Maybe not the smartest move, but Evans really just did a number on Skylark. I'll tell you what, it impressed that crowd, and that's what we'd like to hear. We had the greatest fans in all of professional wrestling. Now, both of them are... Uh, a little, getting up a little... Nice snap mare by Christian Evans. Now Craig here, he's doing what you suggested. Work he's the taking, mask. taking it right to the ground. Yep. And he Look is. Him. Look at his hand. Look at his hand. He's grabbing him by the front of that mask and tearing that mask around over to the right. Excuse me, over to the left as he's kind of pulling the mask. You can't breathe in a mask like that. Well, they don't teach directions here in CCW, just how to wrestle. And, you know, nonetheless, he's definitely cutting off Skylark's air supply. But Skylark with a beautiful chin breaker to reverse. Oh. Nice insiguri by Skylark. With a little trouble yeah. in paradise here, and Evans is down. Skylark needs to make his way up to the top rope. You know, luckily for Evans, Evans might be able to kind of cut him off as he tries to go. But Skylark with a little bit of a second win, but uh, the belt's on the other side of the ring. I'm not sure if I'd be going there. I'd be trying to end this match quickly. You know what? These two men put their bodies on the line so much. I think these two are so used to working each other that Skylark. It's, not even, it's not even about the title at the moment. They are just trying to outdo each other. Well, you do have to appreciate the competitive nature. Beautiful flying missile drop kick by Skylark. Evans is down. Skylark needs to capitalize right now. He Go does to need top. to capitalize, but Evans is actually closer to the belt. He is. Skylark, can he use that to his advantage? Yeah, and I think that's better design. You know, the champ is smart. He's keeping himself in that corner. Skylark, he's not Skylark cut him off the ring here. Skylark looks like he's going to climb up. He's going to bring him with him. That's not the first movie he's seen uh, off the ropes tonight. Exactly. Uh, he's calling for his patented uh, spinning Hurricane Rada DDT. Oh, no. Evans. Tornado DDT, I'm sorry. Evans is trying to fight out of it, but still, you've got to get him off that rope. Evans. Evans is actually playing it smart. He's Evans right there at the belt. that belt from here. Hurricane Beautiful. Rada. That's a Hurricane Rada. Maybe, maybe I just called something a little early. Wow, Skywark, Who could have seen that coming? Skywark's face and the top of his head went right into that mat. I'm not checking on him. I, I, the match is going to continue, but Evans is climbed that, climbed that turnbuckle, grabbed that, grabbed that belt. He's, he's at the corner. Skylark has an incredible resiliency, though, so he's got to be right there to stop Evans if he plans on re regaining the alternative championship. Up Skylark on the other side of the ring, and normally we'd have a referee given a ten count. It's stopped by Skylark. This match only ends one way. That belt comes off that comes off that pole. No pinfalls, no submissions, no countouts. Surprisingly, I'm, they haven't taken it to the outside of the ring. That's that's another very competitive thing about these two gentlemen. They keep it on the inside of the ring. Skylark with a very smart move. Oh, good grief! Wow, he went through with that drop kick in the corner, but Skylark he catapulted good. right into Christian Evans's chest. He moved. He moved. What, or he moved uh, Evans. Skylark's up high. Skylark's got a hold of the belt. Whoa, that belt's going really precarious on the outside of the ring here. We're going to need to maybe have security warn people. Oscar, the nice mule, kick. The mule kick. He's trying to bring that belt to him. Whoa. Oh. He might have caught him. It looked like Skylark went for a moonsault, but I think he actually caught a little bit of a slice for number two. I'm not See? too sure, but Christian Evans is... Well, he's starting to show a little bit of he life hooked, there. He hooked Evans on the way down. He may not have got all of it, but that would he have, got a fantastic uh, That would have knocked a normal man out. Move. Christian Evans is actually moving faster to the belt. Incredible stamina by this kid. Listen to this crowd getting behind the alternative champion. Again. Whoa, and Evans at the outside of the ring. If Skylark were smart, he'd go for that belt now and end it. And these, two are, these two are friends. These two have been in one heck of a very competitive feud. But, you know, feuds come to a pass when, it's, you, when you have a championship on the line. Evans is down. Skylark's slowly making his way. But Evans, Evans is staying in the fight. Where's Skylark? Skylark seems like he's going to set up for something. I don't know. Not he if he's grabbed that belt. But that, look at that. That pole just keeps shifting all over the place. Oh, did he get it? 
Wait a minute. The, the belt broke. Who got it? Who's the champion? Who's the champ? Who won the match? That was Christian Evans has a belt, but Skylar pulled off. I don't know about this, Craig. That, that was kind of weird. I'm going to go get a ruling by the referee. Oh, no, no, no. Welcome back to Superstars of the Ring. No, no, no. Welcome back to Superstars of the Ring. As you can see, a big congratulations from us to Christian Evans for retaining the alternative championship right there. Just not to, not to grasping take any, that belt. Not to take anything away from Christian Evans. Yeah, he was credited with the win of the match, but he did not pull that belt off the pole. You're right. Skylark no. clearly did that, and that was what the rules in the match stated. The person that pulls the belts off is awarded the match. He should be the alternative champion. Except, as you watch, when he comes back... He lost possession. I think it's like football. He lost possession. I mean, Christian Evans took possession. Evans slid into the ring. The ref didn't stop the match. Evans got back in there, grabbed that ring, and, put, and got right back out of the ring. I think like football, he came down for that possession. He had it in his hands, and then he fumbled it on the goal line. No, well, fumbled on the goal line doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, is that Christian Evans may be the alternative champion. I still say that Skylark pulled it off. He should be alternative champion. So, who knows? Maybe we can get the fans to decide, and you know they'll go to our website at ccwrestling.biz, click on the Contact Us link, and give us your opinions. We'd like to hear from you. We'd like to hear from the fans' opinions as to uh, how that match ended. Personally, I'm going with the champ. He went back into that ring. He grabbed that belt. And it was opportunistic. Don't, don't think it wasn't. But... That's why he's the champ. I'm not going to take anything away from both of these superstars. Both of them are fantastic. This is what I'm going to go with. I want to see another match. I do too. I want to see a whole other match. It doesn't have to be a light on the ball. It has to be a non-traditional match of any kind, whether it's Falls Count Anywhere, Steel Cage, uh, a street fight, which I doubt. These two gentlemen are professionals, yeah. so we probably won't see that. But we're going to see some sort of an uh, traditional, untraditional match that will uh, finally decide who the true alternative Can champion is. Can you imagine these two in a ladder match somewhere down the road? Oh my, it, it would definitely definitely be a spectacle. If you have been to any of our live events in the last, since the end of 2014, all through today, 2015, these two have been putting on phenomenal matches. High flying, great impact, aerial moves, the fastest action you will see in professional wrestling today. There. And while yes, this third match, you know, it, again, it's a lot of interpretation, a lot of things are up in the air, but the greatest, some of the greatest action we've seen here in years. They're and absolutely. congrats to both of these men. Well done. They're absolutely the future of this company, and uh, I definitely look forward uh, to what they have to provide for us in the future. That being said, you mentioned 2014. I did. Next week's show, we are going to have a very special uh, program where it's going to concern the 2014 uh the winners. Voting. The, uh, voting. The, the fan voting. Record number of votes for this year. We haven't. Especially in some choices. Um, yeah, well, we'll talk about that on next week's show, and I think you and I both know where we're going to go with that. It's something that we haven't had a whole lot of time to talk about, you know, given all the excitement that's going on with CCW. So next week, we're going to see the winners of, uh, we're going to see the match of the year. Match of the year. Mm -hmm. Superstar of the year, which, again, we're going to go back and speak with Rock and Roll Chris Turner. We hope you have Don't for a Don't spoil interview. anything. Rookie okay. of the year. We all know who definitely deserves that, that distinction that yep. year. And, of course, personality of the year. But having said that. Yeah, that's something that smells spoiled. I don't think I like your tone. Ladies and gentlemen, for Craig Young, my name is Brian Blitz. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out as you are right now at ccwrestling.biz. And until next time, we'll see you at ringside. I still think you've voted for yourself like a hundred times. Just ridiculous. Okay.